Hi, so the whole idea behind my channel is over a year ago now I started playing Airsoft. One of the biggest problems I had playing Airsoft was getting help regarding the sort of guns that I should be looking at, equipment and so forth. So this is what this channel is about. It's all about the basic stuff and basic guns of Airsoft. So I have another new gun or piece of equipment, could be anything really, to go over. Uh, so I'm going to dive into that just now. If you do like what you see, please subscribe. Um, hit the wee bell. Okay, that would really help. And I hope you enjoy what you see. So let's get into this new piece, equipment or gun. So here's a gun I'm really excited about. I've actually been trying to get a hold of this gun for a number of weeks now, but every time I went to order it, it was out of stock. I'm very excited about this. This is the first I've actually seen the box because I haven't even had a sneaky peek yet. I've actually been waiting to do this review so you can actually see my, re my reaction as well. Now as per usual, I bought it from a really good supplier, which is of course Patrol Base. And the thing I like about Patrol Base is not only do you get a good receipt, but they also give it a quick test as well to make sure it's working. Okay, so what do we have? We have the SEMA CM028 AK-47 assault rifle. It's semi-automatic as well as full automatic and I am really, really excited about this. Now the reason I'm really excited for about this is I've went for the original look of an AK-47. So, without any further ado, let's have a little look what we get in the box. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, yes. Oh, I am very excited. I have to say. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually better looking than I thought it was going to be. Wow. Eh, I need to take a wee minute here. Compose myself. Wow, that really looks the business. Now, this is fake wood. Okay. However, it really does look good. So, what's in the box? Right, here we go. Right, okay. So, there's a high cap mag. Okay. There we go. Very high cap magazine, wheel on the bottom. There's a cover there to fill the BBs. There. Wow. Yeah. Very happy with that. Eh... Uh, the usual battery that comes with these things. Okay. And this is a 2, 3 amp. Um, 1100 milliamp, 8.4 volts battery. Now, it feels like... Hmm, could this be 6 cell? This could be a 6 cell battery, or even maybe a 7 cell battery, hard to tell, I'll look into that, I'll look into that and I'll let you know, there we go, the usual, mm -hmm. well we'll know where that'll end up, that will end up in the bin, because I don't trust them at all, it doesn't have a switch off, it just keeps charging and keeps charging and keeps charging, and that's when your batteries could be in problems. Okay, so that'll end up in the bin. Uh, the usual rubbish sling. Okay. It's actually quite a nice pretty colour. Uh, there is a jamming rod. And I believe it might be underneath the gun. And there is also a silver key. 
Now, what could this be? Well, I actually know what this is for. This is for the foresight to adjust it. Okay, that fits over the foresight and you can turn it up and down and that can adjust it. Okay. And last, but by no means least, the gun itself. Now this is going to be heavy because there is a lot of metal in this gun and that I do know for a fact because I've done a lot of research regarding this gun. So here we go. Oh my word, yes. Oh yes. Oh absolutely yes. Wow, that is heavier. That's one of the heaviest basic guns I've had in my hands yet. Okay, and yet as I thought, jamming rod. There we are. Okay. So where do we start with this? Predominantly, <clears throat> it is a right-handed gun. Okay. Sling mount there. Sling mount there. That's your mag release there. Trigger, obviously. The butt. And at the end of the butt, that is where you'll find your battery connection. Oh, it's fused as well. That's fantastic. Wow. Now, this can take up to a 9.6 volt battery, and that's one of the reasons I went for it. Okay, because a lot of the other basic ones don't. They'll only take the 8.4 or 8.6. Okay, turning over. All right. There's your selection there. It's already on safety. That's automatic. And that there is semi-automatic. Pulling the charging handle back should release the hop up, which it does, and it's a slide, and it's right there. Okay, right there. Yep. Okay, turn that back over. It feels actually really quite nice, although it's fake wood, I must admit. Okay, so there's the foresight, the rear sight, sorry, I beg your pardon. Okay, and does it adjust? Yes, it does. Wow, that's fantastic. That's really good. Moving right to the other end, and there is the front sight. And as I mentioned earlier on, that key fits over the sight like so. And it allows you to adjust. Yep, you can feel that adjusting. Fantastic. I cannot tell you how excited I am regarding this. This feels absolutely amazing. Wow. I'm actually shaking. It is really, really a nice gun. I have to say. I'm very, very impressed with it. I really don't even know where to start with the review. I'm, I'm so excited about this. I'm shaking. This is one of the nicest rifles I've bought. So, let's talk about FPS. This is a, a, a legal, site legal uh, rifle. Okay, you will need a defence or a Yuka, and I have my Yuka. That's why I've been able to buy this. Um. It will fire 0 0.25 BBs. However, it will take up to 2 point, sorry, 0 0.25 gram BBs. Okay, and as I say, the FPS plus or minus 10 uh, with a 20 gram BB is 330. And when... This got tested by a patrol base. It is 320. So that's fantastic. Very happy with that. Very happy indeed. So the site I go to, um, Section 8, that's a gun I can use no problem. Absolutely no problem at all. 
Uh, in the bag, in the box itself, you actually saw when I unwrapped it. Okay, it has a manual. Uh, sorry, a magazine. It didn't have an instruction manual as such. So I'm not worried too much about that. It has your battery charger, which will end up in the bin. The battery is there and a magazine. Now, one thing I did notice, a lot of these uh, basic uh, guns give you a speed loader and there was no speed loader in this. Hmm. So I'm thinking to myself, why wouldn't there be a speed loader? Well, that magazine that you're looking at, okay, takes a phenomenal amount of um, BBs, to be honest with you. And I'm actually just trying to have a quick look to see how many BBs it actually takes. Because from memory, I think it takes at least 400 in that magazine. And if that is the case, then you're not going to run out, and run out of BBs in a hurry. And remember, of course, that's the size uh, 0 0.20 gram BBs. Okay. Actually, I'll correct myself on that magazine. It holds 525 rounds in that magazine. Oh my goodness. Well, okay. That is a lot of BBs. An awful lot of BBs indeed. Whew. You're not going to run out of BBs in a hurry. Of course, you can fit a silencer on it. It's got a counterclockwise thread. Okay, so if you want to put a, a silencer on it, you can do. It's a male, it tells me. Uh, the hop-up, as I showed you, is slide. It will take up to... Uh, 0.25 gram BBs. I cannot believe how many BBs. Now, one of the other reasons I bought this is I've up that that it's got an upgraded a uh, uh, gearbox version compared to the other ones that I bought. The other ones I've been buying have a V2 gearbox. This has a V3 gearbox, so it's got a little bit more kick to it. Um, it can take up to a 9.6 volt battery. Uh, 1200 milliamps okay so the battery that I have just now will be okay but it won't last you a full day okay so I'll always advise people to go and buy another battery charger and so forth and things like that in order to uh, last the whole day the barrel length okay now you're ready from this okay which goes roughly from about here okay and stops just about there is 455 millimeters long okay so that is actually quite a good length of barrel i would say that's a good medium range gun maybe just touching long range to be honest with you if you upgrade uh, the the battery and maybe the heavier bbs as well okay so that might just give you that a little bit extra range on it I'm just overwhelmed by how good that looks, to be honest with you. I cannot get over it. It is an absolutely cracking, lovely looking piece of gun. I can't get over it. So, this part here is fake. This is fake wood. That's fake wood. That's metal. That's all metal. That's all metal. That pretend cleaning rod under there. That's metal. The sights, apart for that part here, is metal. That's metal. So it is a quite a predominantly metal looking gun. And weighted gun. And feeling gun. It is really, really nice. I've been really excited about this. It has taken me weeks to secure one of these. To be honest with you. I started before Christmas trying to get one. And I couldn't, I looked everywhere, I even went to some other sites and so forth to try and buy one, and I couldn't. And every time uh, one of the suppliers that I, that I go to had it in, lo and behold, they ran out. <laughs> yes, they did. So, it's taken me a while to get it. I have been so excited, I, I wanted to have a sneaky peek myself, but I didn't. Because I wanted to do the unboxing together. Okay, so... The battery compartment, 
is here. All you have to do is push down on that. And there we go. And there's a battery there. Just going to connect this on. Let me have a listen. Yeah, I'm definitely putting it on the right way. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit of effort, extra effort. Let's tuck that away. Yeah, there's a fair bit of battery compartment in there. Yes, there is. I'm going to put this in that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. Nope. It's going to have to go in that way. There we go. That's it. Put the stock back on. I'm sorry, put the butt plate back on. There we go. Nope. There we are. That's it. That's it. Okay, so let's have a little listen. So, on safety. Yep, that's brilliant. Semi automatic. Yep. Automatic. That's not bad. I mean, the battery's needing charge, you can hear it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, you don't see any moving parts. Because it's not a, a gas blowback version. So you won't see anything. Oops, sorry. See if I can get this back on now. Now that I took it off. Nope. Oh, well, that's going to take a bit of practice for cleaning. Just going to pop this on, pause for one second while I put that back on, and I can now use my both hands. So, there you go the SEMA CM028 AK47 which I must admit I am really looking forward to getting out with that. I'm going back to the airsoft and in February. Uh, so there's a few guns now that I'm going to be taking and testing out in the field and see how I get on. So there we go, another review. If you like it, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And hit the notification bell as well. So when I do my next review, then you'll get notification about it. The next gun that I'm going to get is a gun for a piece of fun. Okay, I'm not going to say any more than that. Hope you've enjoyed this. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye just now.